Hello, Red here, bringing you part 62 of the Rise of Watch campaign. And uh, last left off, we um, we basically survived that plague. That's uh, always a plus. And to top it off, um, now it's really just going away to Russia. And of course, Scandinavia is never affected by the Black Plague, it seems. So they got lucky. Like, really, really lucky. And these uh, counts here got lucky too, I suppose. Regardless though, um, several of the prisoners did die while they were, while the Black Plague did ravage. And that's probably a bit of my fault for letting me in prison. So what we're going to do is uh, do the honest thing and simply ransom them off to uh, the highest bidder. And of course we're going to go squash some Vikings at all. Kind of been a nuisance. There we go. The um, summer fair is now over. And let's go squash some Vikings. Of course, we probably need a few commanders, don't we? So put a few these guys in charge. And do they get a? Yeah, do do get opinion? Uh, they do get opinion. Or being a commander. At the very least, that's good. And we do need to make sure that these factions are not going to grow again. Of course, which they are. So we have to bribe our way back to um, prosperity, it seems. There we go. My daughter, um, I think my half-sister, actually, became a misguided warrior. Oh, I suppose they all cannot be winners. In the very least, we don't have the 10% or my standing opinion for female heir. So that's plus. And uh, we're going to be sitting here for five years, though, making sure that um, our penalty for well, the plague goes away. And people are coming back to your council. So, of course, I want you to go and collect your taxes, or my taxes. And when you start improving relationships with the entire kingdom, unfortunately. So we'll be sitting here trying to make a bunch of more money. And so you lack lots of money anyways. Hmm. We could go to war against you. But you only have 4,000 men and you don't have any event spawn troops. Oh, that's beautiful. We could do a crusade, which would be amazing. But, um, hmm. Getting Aragon, that's an extra four provinces. That would be really good. I don't think we really have the time for it. Of course, though, consumption is on the rise. And we do have to train up our other daughter. So we'll try to boost up um, opinion, at least. Try getting some people to educate them. Of course, my son will be educated by me personally. And, um, hmm. But at the moment, things are starting to stabilize quite a bit. Of course, this boy of Northumberland. I hopefully, like me a bit more. I just send some money away. And uh, we can start getting opinions up here. Imagine a new spy master. 
have you scheming the capital? And you seem to like me quite a bit. Well, probably because I gave you money. It does look like factions are really not the problem at the moment. Which is extremely good news. I'm trying to make sure that we do not break up again like just a few years before. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that I don't really have a lot of money, I'd probably be thinking about actually getting a retinue on the go. Of course, though, I could get a very cheap retinue. It's not hard to be expensive. But one part of being charitable is to harbor the homeless. Several villages have been destroyed by in the storm, and the peasants need somewhere to live. I guess we can give them castle living. But yeah, I think we need a retinue. Even if it is very, very cheap. So we can get a skirmish or a light skirmish. Or just archers. Which is amusing in itself. I think we can go for a light skirmish. I mean, shock would be really good. Hmm. And no Vikings are on the capital. Do you think it's actually worth it? We can go for a light skirmish. Though, hmm. Would be more worth it. No, definitely, um. No, it's just so much more men. We'll have to do this. We'll go for light skirmish. We'll hire a bunch of men. Go over here. And this will hopefully start, um, not getting people to rebel against me. It's a valid investment, and it'll stop Viking from actually raiding the capital. So at the very least, this will be a deterrent for any rebellion whatsoever. They probably wish I should probably get some shock right new to mix with it. Yeah, it's probably actually a lot better idea. But we do certainly need money. That's certainly something we don't actually have in hand. Nope. And am I actually backing a plot here? Give you money, but you're not too much of a problem at all. Hmm. Not the very least. We'll sit here and see our run prosper. It looks like the Black Death is almost gone. Yep, all gone. Not to problem anymore. Oh, and we can also invest technology. So let's see. Go for military advances, or we can improve legalism. Well, definitely legalism. We try to get a new law passed. And get high centralization. Also, I can do vice royalties. It doesn't seem like it's that great, to be honest.
No. We can increase the sensation. Which isn't too great either, though. We don't even have tribals in our land. We don't actually, right? No. We're all feudal. But uh, let's build up small men. Do have levy reinforcement rate up again. Here's a small little retinue right over here. But I will sit here in peace. Nothing to really do at the moment. So I just recover. Of course, the capital doesn't suffer from any penalties from the plague anymore. As the farmers prepare for sowing the spring crops, you've caught chaplains suggesting you bring on the holy relic in position of, and bless the fields. Surely this would increase the likelihood of a bunch of harvest this year. Sure, why not? Lower revolt risk. Doesn't think it was high at all, anyways. Yeah, no. And I'm pregnant again. And uh, messenger system for our people? Why not? Increase prosperity. And all these sad people here don't even have hospitals. But look at that, our retinue is growing. It's beautiful. We'll soon have lots of men kill the enemy with. And this actually hurt factions too. Yeah, a few of the small factions are not even powerful enough for our levy. And we can go kill these Vikings here too. Aha, first test run. Went perfectly. Let's see though, Saxony actually owns, or have bro broken apart from the Munich Empire. Which is surprising news. And it's even more surprising that the Catholic faith is still in charge of the Munich Empire. For some amazing reason. But it does look like Catholicism is, um, getting a bit more powerful than usual. It's actually pushing back and Tengri faith is nearly non existent. Which is surprising. And looks like we may have to be a bit more careful when it comes to the Catholic religion. Of course, our religion is not doing too well at all. Business with lots of our popes. Hmm. But I think we'll go hold a summer fair. <laughs> we borrow money from the Jews again. Good on me. Oh, I only actually need the money in ways. Let's go and get some more retinue. Oh, there's one more. It's in a bunch of money to use. So, see, there'll be 6,000 troops on top of our 3,000. So, at least that'll give us plenty of men to use. Well, it's probably going to be like 8,000. At the very least, it's going to help us with them um, revolting. Let's see, the Aquitains are revolting. Go implement another messenger system. And this young guy over here 
Teams are onto a vault. Which means we can steal his three promises off of them. Which isn't actually a bad idea. Hmm. I think we'll actually go do this. Take your three provinces. At least try to, anyways. We can raise 11,000 troops. It's actually a bit risky, isn't it? Ah, uh, let's go ahead. We'll try to take him on. We can get our omen in charge of this. And we'll go around and get fleets up and running too. We'll just do this the faster way. And when I mean the faster way, I mean the more confusing way in which people don't actually get on the boats. At the very least, let's get all these boats together. Get all these men here. And of course, get all these men here. Let's see how quickly we can take these from provinces. Oh, never mind. False alarm. You all can go back home. Well, that was fun while it lasted. It was a good exercise for all the troops to, um, gain their morale. But let's see, we can improve castle infrastructure. Oh, what, what can you have to do for hospitals? Have to prove construction. But I think for now we'll go and prove castle. And also get special Vikings at the same time. Go capture someone in battle. That means we can ransom you off. Not, not ransom you at all. Let's see, we can ransom you for 10 gold. We could give you 15 gold, but that's not a profit. So you just get to sit here and rot in jail. Let's see, we could tax Saxony. We could try and get Normandy. Sadly, we could attack Orcutane. That'd be very good. Though Germany is actually fairly weak. Germany is truly a shadow of its former self. And Australia is a new Lombardy. Hmm. They do only have 2,500 men at the moment. Oh, and my son can actually become educated. And of course, I will do it. My old husband. Also, regardless, we are still very much on the way to paying lots of money for troops. So hopefully this will replenish sooner or later. 
Yeah, yeah, there we go. My son is uh, cynical and loose zealous. I didn't know he was. No, I would lose zealous. No, don't become cynical. You need to fight for faith. But regardless, though, I think I need to call it part here. So I'll see you in the next part where we go and decide what to do. Now, since we do have retinue, our lands are really slowly getting back up to speed. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you then. And goodbye.